Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, I am just going to return a hello world response in JSON. Okay, so let's see. So in blogs app, sorry blog underscore app, I will go to views.py. Now here, I will just, you know, import few things, not few, only one thing, which is going to be from django.htp import json response okay now here i'll create uh, one function so i'll say def blog underscore list and here i'll say request now here i will just create one dictionary so i will say data equals to i'll say message and I will pass hello world and I will just return this JSON response so I'll say return JSON response and I'll pass data in param parameter okay so this is done now let's go to urls.py so i'll just need to bring some patterns so i'll just go to urls.py which is present in this uh, project folder okay now i'll go to urls.py which is in blog underscore app and i'll paste it oops i haven't copied copy and paste okay now i'll remove this admin we don't need also i'll remove this path i don't need that Okay. Now here I will say from dot import views. Okay. Now I'll say path p a t h path. Hmm. I need to import path too. So I'll just import this path. So by mistake I have removed that path line I need to remove that admin okay so just take care of it now here I will say blog underscore list oops list slash and here I will say views dot uh, blog underscore list and name is going to be blog underscore list only okay done now close this file now and uh, come to file which is in urls.py file only but in the project based directory okay now here i will import one more thing which is going to be include okay so i'll copy this include and i will create one more path and here i will say api slash blog slash and here i'll say include and i will write my blog underscore app name okay i mean my app name which is blog underscore app so i'll say blog underscore app and inside that i have urls.py file okay so i'll just write urls okay now Django will automatically detect our URLs which is present in this file okay um, I mean I wrote this code but I hope you got idea about this okay and to comprehend this all this basic code you need to have knowledge about Django how Django works okay then only you will be able to create REST API in Django otherwise it's not going to help you okay so do this open terminal i will just clear this terminal and i will say python manage.py run server okay so server has been created now i will open browser and i will hit the endpoint okay so here i need to go to api slash blog and here i have blog underscore list so you can see over here that I got a response in JSON. Okay. 
now if i click on raw then you can see how this uh, response looks like without that uh, json formatter okay and with json formatter you can see how the api looks okay and let me zoom so you can understand more clearly okay so yeah this is a basic um, view like how this response is in api looks like in a browser okay and you can also do this same thing using rapid api so let me copy this link okay i'll go to vs code and i will click on rapid api okay now here i will just delete this i will create new request and here i will just paste that so here we are not performing any you know crud operations we are just going to do this get request okay from this drop down click on this get and simply hit on request so you can see we got same message as we got over here okay so this is the reason why we are going to you know use this uh, rapid api and this rapid api has other much more features like you need if you want to you know send data then you can send it from here if you have any token to send then you can send it from here there are many cool things which you can do by using uh, rapid api and these same things can be done using postman but we need to switch our uh, software and a code editor frequently which is i think not convenient for me so i'm using this otherwise you can use uh, postman no issues on that okay and if you are using any other code, edit code editor like sublime or atom then definitely you are going to use postman only right and if you are using this vs code then this is easy for you guys okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you